Okay, so what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Scans Factory asset. Scans Factory is killing it. I reviewed their Temple of Cambodia, and now I'm taking a look at their abandoned factory. This right here is absolutely amazing. Now, just a heads up, my character I just kind of put in here. I don't have the collisions all set up, so he might be going through some of the walls. Additionally, he doesn't have any face because he's a faceless soldier. Uh, anyways, this is it. The factory settings. I have this running at 4K. And as you can see, the RTX 4090 is doing a pretty good job at keeping up with this right now. Running by 76 frames per second. So let's go ahead and walk around. Nanites and Lumen is not enabled. Now, hopefully one day they would kind of update this to enable Nanite and Lumen. And what's cool about these guys and girls is that... If you give them 10 reviews in the Epic Marketplace, they do some cool stuff. Like sometimes they would create a night time for their environment and so on and so forth. So if you purchase any of their stuff, I suggest leaving them a review. Because at the end of the day, it's going to help us out. Uh, but taking a look at this, this really gives me that metal solid of gear. Konami, don't sue me, I didn't say it. Um, vibe to it. You know, and that is one of my favorite video games. And I am definitely going to have fun with this environment here. I'm actually planning on turning this into a night environment myself. So, yeah, let's go ahead and walk around. It's pretty big. I would consider this a small level. Like, you can actually explore this. And this is what I'm kind of excited about. Because if you take this environment right here and make it smaller but more photorealistic... Now that we can use for animations or CG movies. Uh, but at the same time, I can just really cut a small piece of this environment here and use it if need be. I don't have to use the entire thing. But if you need to, you can. So let's walk around here. Alright, so let's go ahead and kind of check out this area right here. Again, this looks... Pretty darn incredible with enough depth of field on your camera and lens. This could pass for a photorealistic asset here. So let's go ahead and move around. Ha! Oh crap. Oh crap. Crap. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Almost died there. I was trying to sneak attack, but you heard me. But what's cool is these chains have constraints. A little physics there. That's always fun. Pretty nice. Got some rats. Again, you're gonna see a lot of that. Got a nice decal right there. It does come with a third person character, but I just wanted to go ahead and put a soldier in here because this is the kind of story I would tell in this environment here. As you all know, whenever I write shorts and stuff like that, I usually start with the environment. I go to the marketplace, look for environments that I like, and then I write the story for that environment. And this environment right here, you can tell a lot of stories in here. Pretty cool stuff. I think I'm stepping on the little rock areas. That's why it's doing that little jump. Let's check a look at this right here. This is triply quality to me. I mean, I've seen video games that is less amazing looking than this. This is some incredible work that they're doing right there. And the RTX 4090 is loving that big lighting because we have like 115 frames per second in 4K. So let's go ahead and switch this to Ultra. Might as well. It's eating it for dinner right now. It's not... It's not running into any issues. So here we are, Ultra, 72 frames per second. And yeah, this is looking too crispy on me, man. This looks good. And this is no DLSS. Running in 5.1. Packaged 5.1. Love the sound effects that it added to. Kind of getting that torture vibe, you know, like bad guys 
camera tortures somebody and like, you know, like a guy in a suit shows up and just saves everybody. That kind of story I'm getting here. You know, he can be hanging right there on his shirt, dangling like, hey, save me. All that stuff, man. Running through my head right now. It's got some outdoor interior exteriors right here. It's a lot of birds. But my goodness, this looks great. Well done. This could really be like a multiplayer deathmatch map right here. This is if you just fix the collision and give a little bit more space, extend it some. This would be an amazing map for like a deathmatch too. The potential of this map is just insane. Keep stepping on these little rock foliage scattered everywhere. Enough. Got this little area right here. It's pretty big for what you're paying for, to be honest. Nice reflections there. Pretty impressed with this map, man. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Oh man, I'm gonna have fun with this map. And I think we are back in the beginning here. It's like a little loop. But that's pretty much it. That is the Scans Factory. Abandoned factory you can get in the marketplace right now. Uh, additionally, if you haven't done so, go check out my Unreal Engine 5 course that I made recently. It's pretty cool. It's gotten good reviews so far. I have it in ArtStation, Udemy, and Gumroad. So additionally, starting Saturday, I'm starting to host some Unreal Engine 5 virtual classes for beginners. So if you haven't done so, check out the dates. I'll put it in the description below. And go ahead and sign up for it. It's going to be about two and a half hours of live virtual class using Discord through Discord. I have one spot left available this Saturday, and I'm doing it for Sunday as well. That's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.